Hey there folks, this is GreenyXI welcoming you right back to Let's Play X-Files, this is episode 12, the last ever episode of the Let's Play. Um, what we're going to be doing today is checking out the Alaskan base and hoping to god that we can get through it okay, because I've already tried a couple of times and it's turned out a bit shite both times. Oh, well, more than both times, however many times it was. So, here we go. There's so many ways you can get trapped in here by enemies and everything. So you want to try... To avoid as many sticky situations as you can. So one of these doors you can you can look in. There it is, just a dead body. Right. Let's get the gun out because it's gonna be needed. Okay, right. I need your help, Scully. I need two of these keys to get past the blast door and into the storage chamber. I need for you to help me. You have a game over if you don't do this right. Scully, run! Run. Okay, and we'll get the gun back. Ah, oh, the gun's already out, is it? No, whatever. Now it is. Soon. Here we go. And over here. <laughs> what? You're supposed to have the opportunity to shoot. What happened there? Okay, we went about about that a little bit wrong. So we'll get the gun back out. We'll do it again, but I think we did that wrong anyway. Okay, we need to shoot then. That's it. <laughs> now that he's gone, we'll have a bit of a happier time about it. Um, here we go. Skip it this time because we've already seen it. Run. Not sure now. I'm hoping he won't be here now. Nope, he's gone. That's yeah, that was the one we shot earlier. So now What do we do? <laughs> I don't know. This door I'm pretty sure. Oh this looks horrible. <laughs> Get the gun back on. I don't feel safe unless I got the gun on in this area. I like how you have like infinite bullets. It's quite nice for this sort of game. I'm not sure where to go. I'm not sure where to go, guys. How do you? Okay. This can be important for later on, but for now we're going to leave it. It's a button by there, by the way. <laughs> well, if I was allowed to leave it, you know. I just want to go forward. Right. What's going on? Let me out to this room. Unless you have to come in this room from the other side first, kind of thing. Maybe. So we'll go the long way round. Stop shooting gun, stupid thing. Maybe. No, we don't want to go in. Don't want to go in anyway. Right, okay, we've made it to the isolation chamber area. This will be important in a bit as well. Just in through this door. It's an important. Ooh. Oh, it's you. 
I don't know what's wrong with Mulder. I think he's in some kind of a narco-somnambulistic state. Maybe if we can lure him into the isolation chamber, I, I can contain him until I can figure out how to treat him. Okay. How are we gonna do that? Well, first of all, we need to locate the other key that Mulder was looking for. Now, whatever is in that room is protected by some kind of a blast door. It looks to me like, like the, uh, the door is, is operated by two key panels. Both keys need to be turned simultaneously, like launching a nuclear missile. Now, there's a key guard in the corner of the room. Maybe if, if I distract him, you can come up behind him and knock him out. Then we can use the key to get Mulder into that chamber. But first, we have to get the isolation chamber powered up. Now, the, the door to the security area locked itself behind me, so we have to get that opened up first. Okay, it's just going a lot better than... It did last time, anyway. For me, I mean. No, put a gun away, dick. <laughs> okay, green button. This is definitely what we want to do. I'm not entirely certain what it does, but it must be. That's what we want to do in this room. Let's get out of here. Or can we talk to him all? No. Okay. There we go. I can find my way out then. I think it makes it so that you can press these buttons in here. I want to press this button first. I don't know if it matters which order you press these two buttons in, but it's always all the buttons is nearer by, you know? You just don't want to go in the room. Do not go in the room, whatever you do. Okay. Go on the other side. And press the red button by here. This is the part I find tricky. Finding out what to do next. Uh, I think it's where the life support button was now. I think we can press that now. I hope so, anyway. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet and everything. Okay, we can press it. I couldn't press it last time, it just wouldn't let me. I don't know what was going on. At least, at least now it's sorted. Um, okay, that's opened a new door. So we now want to go all the way back to the isolation chamber area. This part used to creep me out so much when I was little. Not so much now, but it's still complicated and annoying. Um, this way. Okay, where's the new door? I know it's in here somewhere. And I can remember seeing it before. So, there it is. This would have been locked if we hadn't done that life support sort of area thing. Well, let's hope this works. Any particular direction you'd like to claim? Okay. Let's get the gun out, because I know there's something coming up. Uh, oh no, I don't want to do this. This is the important part that's going to be hard. And timed, and everything. So I'm just preparing. Here we go. You ready? Any particular direction you like? I'm going right. If we go left, it'll all turn out differently. I'm not really sure how. Poor oh guy, he didn't deserve that. Gotta be quick now. Gotta be really quick.
Do a Mulder. That's doing it automatically for us. That's good. <laughs> I don't want the stress, I'll be honest. Okay, so you go through the chamber, because we opened both doors earlier with the red buttons. Can't believe I've cheaped out like this. <laughs> okay, then you press the button. And Scully presses the other button. And so did. Alia Mulder is trapped. Scully is dead! No, not Scully. Cook. Fuck my life. And that's the end of the game, folks. Just a few little cutscene -y things, no? Agent Wilmore, I know you're upset by what's transpired, but we're all affected when one of our own goes bad. I never saw it coming. Mark was my friend. I should have been more attentive, perhaps, but none of us are at fault. Except Agent Cook himself. Hello. Come in, please. I just wanted to say goodbye. I spoke to Detective Astrodorian. Apparently, they searched Cook's apartment and found my laptop, fortunately. But uh, it seems as though Cook staged the break in here in order to make it look as if he'd been attacked. Well, it seems that Agents Mulder and Scully have been uh, talking to Assistant Director Skinner. Yes, apparently your work has received quite a bit of attention at the Bureau. You have quite a fan in Assistant Director Skinner. Although I must admit some of what I've heard sounds a bit fantastic, to put it mildly. Oh, yes, sir. I agree. I'd have to plead the fifth on that. Anyway, I've got a plane to catch, but Agent Mulder wanted me to tell you that his foot has woken up. That's a relief. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. You're looking a little ragged around the edges. Why don't you go home and get some sleep? I'll see you here tomorrow, first thing in the morning. And oh, I expect your report on this matter to show up when you do. Yes, sir. Oh, Detective Astadorian also mentioned she had some paperwork for you to sign. She said she'd drop it by your place, although I told her she could send it here. She seemed uh, adamant about handing it off to you directly. Yes, sir. Agent Wilmore. I guess I know what you want. Hold on a second, I'll go get it. I think not. You'd better keep it. You're gonna need it again. Soon. From what I viewed, Wilmo is never in another show or game, <laughs> so he'll never need it again. <laughs> or am missing something? I don't know. It's weird music for the end. Is it from the show at all? But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this series. Uh, I've got to admit, it's not quite as amazing as I remember from my 12-year-old self. But at the same time, it was top and uh, playful again. Yeah, I liked it. So, overall, uh, graphics, graphics. I mean, it's hard to say that they were bad. 
they were proper FMVs and everything all the way through, so you should say they were good, but at the same time it was really grainy and just low quality in general, so I don't know. It, they were okay, they were okay. The music, not a lot going on. There was a lot of that atmospheric, dull music going on throughout, which, you know, it works for horror, and I guess this is sort of a horror, in a sense. Uh, characters, I think the characters were good. The cast was picked brilliantly, even some of the little non-playable characters like the receptionist, the Russian Santa Claus, or whatever his name was, Smith and all or something. You know, all the cast were picked up pretty good, except for the main character who I felt was boring as hell. Will Moore. And it was nice to see that even Scully and Mulder were in the game, you know, they even went into it. I wonder how they felt about acting for a game, and if it would be different than acting for a TV show. I wonder if, if it would have been weird for them. I expect it would have, a little bit at least. Don't know what else to talk about, really. <laughs> Except for this cheesy music. Can't get enough cheesy now. There isn't much alien stuff going on in this game like you'd expect. You'd expect a game about X-Files to be really alienish. There's a little bit, I guess. I know it was. I know aliens controlled people towards the end. You saw it a lot, but I don't know. It still didn't seem that alienish to me. I don't. Know. 1999. Oh well. I don't know if you can even read it. This text. It's quite hard to read. Anything else? Nope. Okay. So this has been Greeny XI. Hope you've enjoyed overall. It's been a bit of a weird series, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'll see you again in a bit. Oh, yeah. Uh, the other two series should still be ongoing. That's Earthbound and Silent Hill. Uh, Mario Kart will be going up every now and again. Same with vlogs. If you want to check them out, have a look. They're great. See you in a bit.